Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'd like to show you your physique of a 1950 October issue with Clarence Ross on the cover. And um, I actually um, have to <laughs> mention this cover because it's fantastic. I mean, this has got to be one of the best covers of Clarence Ross I've ever seen. I mean, the whole um, Golden Era slash Silver Era is pasted all over here. I mean, especially with that mustard color, the mustard colored trunks in the background. It's, it's a fantastic photo of this legend from the Silver Era. He looks like a, a statue there, doesn't he? Like a Greek god. It's a great, great issue as well. Let's get straight into it. And um, the first issue, sorry, the first um, article that I found was an almost interesting read was uh, the story of weightlifting. Now, um, this one's by Tat Smith, the author. And there's been several, several stories of weightlifting um, articles in previous Your Physiques. So I don't want to go too much into it, but um, it basically actually goes into the history uh, of the Olympics and also the history of Greek and Roman athletics, uh, I guess athletics um, and um, their forms of training. And of course, later on, it moves into the bronze and silver era as well as, um, yeah, you know, strongman stuff and, and stuff like that. Weightlifting feats of the strongmen as well. Um, it was a it was an okay read, but because I've covered this so many times already, I thought I wouldn't talk too much about it. Um, oh yeah, there's the military shooting at the background here. I, I live very I live very close to the military, so um, don't mind the the shoot the the shots that you'll hear. Um, here we have a great article: How I Developed My Shoulders by Reg Park. Some awesome photos here of Reg Park. I'll just zoom some of these in. You may have seen them on the internet already. Uh, yeah, it's, it's some great shots. Great front lat spread there from Reg Park. And I've covered some of the information from this article in a video that I've probably linked now above. And it will be in the description of this particular video. Uh, basically, what I really enjoyed about this article was that Reg Park talks about his trip to America, how he trained with several greats such as Clarence Ross and, and Marvin Eder, etc., Vic Nicoletti, Floyd Page, and even Abe Goldberg and others. And he talks about the tex techniques that he learned in specific, in, in, in specifically, the techniques that he actually learned in regards to delt training. And I've actually listed some of these as well as uh, given descriptions. For example, I think I gave a description of the Floyd, Bay, uh, Floyd Page lateral raise, right? That was a really interesting uh, movement that Floyd Page basically incorporated uh, the peak contraction principle uh, and time under tension, basically, as we call it nowadays, in his own training. And I've done a video, again, linked above and in the description on Reg Park's uh, yeah, tips and, and, and tricks that he learned from these Silver Era legends in America. Now, another gr uh, yeah, another good article was Secret of the Champs. Here, um, in this case, it's Joe Wader who talks about the importance of the mind-muscle connection, especially when it comes to gaining definition and muscularity, of course, and muscle growth. Um, and, and he gives he gives an excellent example of muscular control. Now, I think one of the best examples you can ever give is is uh, talking about any of the bronze era strongmen especially and he talks about Eugene Sandow how for example when he used to travel on the train or, or whatever he would perform his own workouts on the train while sitting down and just uh, using his own body as resistance such was his perfection with muscular control of his own body so he could really get a good workout by applying pressure on you know using his own body parts um, such was his muscular control and, and of course with muscular control um, you need a good muscle and mind connection and that's what Joe Wader talks about in this article it's a really good article now another one is making champions by Floyd Page who's done quite a lot of series now a lot of articles in the series and this is the article that I based a recent couple of videos on in regards to lean bulking how there were basically two schools of thought in the silver era in regards to gaining muscular size so we're talking about either the milk and squats method which I've talked about many times on this channel or lean bulking where you basically follow 
a very thorough full body routine three times a week but really focus on specialization of any body part that is lagging uh, and basically do three or four exercises for that body part and on top of that you don't force feed yourself like you would in the milk and squats method instead you have plenty of fruit and vegetables and good protein sources and whole grains uh, basically a, a whole natural food diet very different to force feeding yourself in the uh, milk and squats and, and performing the brutally difficult 20 rep squat routine very very difficult uh, methods for gaining muscular size uh, i didn't really read much of kader el tuini el tuni or whatever his name is the egyptian superman uh, he was a weightlifter and um, it, this article mainly just talks about his records um, it's not that interesting in that respect making a comeback i didn't i, I read this but I, I thought i wouldn't yeah delve into this particular article too much what what is surprising though and marvelous it has to be the very rare photos of barton horvath at 40 years of age looking damn herculean i have to admit i mean these are some great photos of barton horvath at 40 years of age i mean he, he looks thick and massive there so it's pretty impressive for for a, a man into his more uh, mature years very very impressive muscularity there what is the ideal physique? This is a continuation again of articles from David Willoughby. Now this article was awesome. Size for your rib box by Charles A. Smith, which I used um, to base some of, uh, I guess I based um, two videos on this actually. Uh, one was on expanding the rib cage, the contributing factors to rib cage expansion, uh, linked above and in the description below, as well as um, the i mean in this in this article charles a smith gives what i have to admit is probably one of the best rib cage expansion uh routines i have ever seen and i actually uh, presented it in a video as well as the ultimate guide to rib cage expansion here's another great article angelo caminiti physique perfection uh, perfectionist i'd never heard of angelo caminiti and i decided to call him i mean i decided to call him the pocket Hercules because of his abilities I mean his strength feats were incredible and I found out that this man was the um, training partner of Marvin Edda pretty impressive and you know that that basically explains why this guy was so strong I mean can you imagine having Marvin Edda as your training partner that's pretty insane and of course I've done a video on this man it's it's a pretty incredible um, figure from the silver era relatively unheard of and definitely forgotten Angelo Caminiti awesome now here's an article that I've read I thought was excellent but I haven't covered yet and I probably will in the very near future developing a powerful neck by Alan Steffen giving several exercises using the head strap using the uh, wrestlers bridge and others a very good exercise by Alan Smith and some excellent photos especially of Ed Terrio here looking absolutely thick performing the um the uh, head strap neck exercises there pretty impressive there's also a great photo there of, of steve reeves in his classic side chest pose awesome and you can actually see the size of his neck there the thickness of his neck i think that's the point also you have here the thickness of reg park's neck and his back i mean that's a, a nice back shot from reg park so um, these are some pretty awesome photos there uh, from this article developing a powerful neck written again by the very awesome alan stefan shown here silver era legend and mr america of 1946. now the final interesting um, article was the mr universe 1950 wrap up which, which uh, steve reeves of course won and i'd like to cover a video on this as well uh, simply because it's you know it's Steve Reeves winning Mr. Universe against the legendary Reg Park. What an incredible battle that must have been. So uh, yeah, I'd love to cover that in another video. And there's also other competitions that occurred near the same time. The Mr. and Miss USA at the time and the Mr. Western America as well as Mr. Muscle Beach. Some pretty awesome competitions back then in the Silver Era. Wow, it was a great read. October 1950, uh, Your Physique. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this magazine. If you've enjoyed the video, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm. Leave me a comment and thank you for watching. If you'd like to support my work, please donate via PayPal or become a Patreon. 
and you can visit my website www.goldenerabookroom.com for old school courses and books that are usually out of print uh, on the silver, golden and, and uh, bronze era bodybuilding techniques. It's excellent uh, information there for you, www.goldenerabookroom.com. Again, hope you've enjoyed the video. That's it for me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.